Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Catherine and I'm really excited today because I have got some goodies for you. If you use Tangent Templates, we have a really awesome freebie that we've just put out for you and also a bonus pack on my Gumroad. So let's have a quick look at that. So these are the two new products that I have just added to Gumroad. One is completely free and actually it's huge. It has a lot of content in there. It's a whole ton of habit and mood tracker templates. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. And I have also added a product which is over 450 images that you can use to decorate your habit and mood trackers. So this is really exciting if you're thinking of making printables or if you're thinking of making KDP planner books for next year, 2024. We are already in Q4 this year. Can you believe that? October the 10th I'm recording this and we are in Q4. So if you're wanting to make planners for next year or for subsequent years, if you like to start early, you can make an academic planner. Those tend to start in the summer. But you can start creating some really cool planners now. You could get some printables up by the end of the year for 2024. And you can create planners for pretty much any month or year after that. So these are really, really versatile. We've created a bunch of habit and mood trackers and I've made a ton of templates out of those. So if you have tangent templates, you can go ahead now and go to katherine.gumroad.com and download this free TT file. And I'm gonna show you everything that's in there. And once you've had a look at that, if you're enjoying it, if you like using it and you want to create a whole bunch more habit and mood trackers, you can either go and create your own images. I super recommend Mid Journey. I know Dali 3 is coming out or is out in preview. I know there's a lot of other tools like Leonardo out there. Personally, still a huge Mid Journey fan. Can't wait for Mid Journey 6 to come out. But whichever AI tool you like, you can create your own images using that. And if you want to get into AI art and you're not sure where to start, come and join Imagine. I have an awesome, huge course for that. And I just added three new tutorials this week. I added one on creating monochrome SVG clip art, which is just amazing. You can create, in fact, you can see it in front of you, these kids clip arts. I show you exactly how I made those. I don't hold anything back. And these are products that I am listing and selling on Gumroad. I included black and white clip art in the full tangerine as well. So I just added a tutorial on that to imagine. I also added a tutorial about reverse coloring books and I have added a tutorial about a new AI tool I've discovered that will color in your coloring book images and bring them to life. So that's three new tutorials that I have added to imagine this week. So the value of that course just keeps growing and growing and growing. Anyway, let's talk about tangent templates and talk about these habit and mood trackers. So as I say, I recommend that you start off by downloading the free file. So if you have tangent templates, you can download this and check it out. This gives you just a ton of awesome templates. So everything you see here that I'm scrolling through, you will get. And in fact, there's actually two TT files in there. So I'm gonna show you both those TT files. So the first one, just gives you the straight habit trackers. So you can see these are plain, they are dated for each month. And bear in mind that February 2024, it is a leap year in 2024, so there will be 29 days in February. But don't worry, we also give you the non-leap year version. So you can create these planners for any year you like. And you can even do month by month ones. Some people actually make subscription planners and they make a planner each month and send them out to people so that's another possibility with these and we also give you a year's supply of mood trackers so these look kind of boring the, these are just the very simple straightforward ones and then these are the pretty ones that show you what you can do with these. So you can take all of these templates that I have created, the images that you see here, you can take all of this and use these however you like. You can use them for printables, you can use them for your KDP books. And I'm going to show you briefly how they work. So these ones here are habit trackers and the way they work is like this. So if you're a book creator, what you can do is either give people a blank 
habit tracker and let them fill in the habits that they want to track. And that's kind of a generic option. A lot of people like to do that. Or you can niche it yourself and actually suggest habits they might like to track. So I'm imagining this page going in, I don't know, an appreciate beauty planner, a planner that just makes you enjoy nice things and do nice things. So the habits I've suggested here are appreciate art, go for a nature walk, enjoy a good conversation, listen to music or spend some time reading. And the way it works is this, each section here represents a day of the month. So there's 28 days. So this would be February in a non-leap year, like 2025. And what the person at home will do is color each space when they have done that habit. So ideally what they want to do is at the end of the month, they'll be able to look back at this and see lots of colored spaces, which shows them, hey, you did all of these good habits. So if you appreciate art on the 1st of February, you color that in. If you have a good conversation, you would color that in. So at the end of the month, you have this lovely colored in planner or tracker that you can look back at and be like, that was a good month. We also have mood trackers. So this one is a habit tracker. And what's really cool about these is that you can niche them to anything. For example, if you were making a tracker for people that have dogs, you could put this as go for a walk, teach your dog a new trick, play time with your dog, bath time with your dog. And so you could track all the things that you've done with your dog over the month. So you can niche these to anything. You could have them for any kind of self-help, uh, mental health, well-being, physical health, anything like kicking addictions, dealing with a chronic illness, any of those things. Or they can be specific to a particular hobby, like you could log exercises on here if you have a particular sport you do. If you do I don't know, a performing thing, you could track how often you practice your instrument or how often you rehearse with a group. So they're very, very versatile. You can use these in a lot of different ways. So that's the habit tracker. Now, these ones here are mood trackers. So these just have one space per day. And the way these work, in fact, let me show you the one I made with a key. So they do need a key for people to be able to fill in the spaces. And the way it works is this. So for each day, you just say, what was your dominant mood on that day? Were you sleepy? Were you happy? Were you grumpy? Were you anxious? And you color in this leaf. So in fact, I'm going to show you a simpler example. So I have these color and track pages here. So these are really cute. There's a habit tracker there, and this is for people who like to color. So I made the habits, the suggested habits, relevant to coloring. And of course you can change these. These are all totally editable in tangent templates. And what I did is I made a mood tracker and I made a version that has a key and then I filled out the key as well. So you can see how this works. So what you would do is color in the circles and put the mood that you want to track. So when you have a high anxiety day, if the first is a high anxiety day for you, you just color that in red. If you have a sad day, you color it in blue and so on. And you can see how this works. There's different ways to do the key. So I've given you a template where the user can fill it in and I have one that's pre-filled in as an example. And I have one here that has no key. So you as a designer, you can either shrink this down and all you need to do is just select it and shrink it. And then you could add your own key underneath. So you can add your key there, however you want to design that. Or you can actually have a full page key on another page. So in this example here, I've made the tracker one whole page and then the key is on the page next to it. So you can kind of see how this works. And because I've put multiple examples in, you really have a template here that you could use to create your book. So, I mean, what you can do with these, and this is really cool, is you can make a template from these pages. So in the Gumroad pack here, the Habit and Mood Tracker, I'm giving you all of these pages and you can use them in your own projects. So what I suggest you do with these is go to this Make Template button. And on the pages that you like, click Make Template, and then you can call this Red Habit Tracker. And then you can save that. And now what will happen is if you start a blank page and you go to the little rocket ship, 
and you go to your saved pages, there it is. You can just pull that in and now you can edit it and do whatever you like with this. So the way you edit it is that you need to click the template and that's dropped it on the page. And what you're going to do is go to this arrange tab here and you're going to click ungroup. And once you've clicked ungroup, you are able to edit any of this. So, I mean, what you could do with this is just use this template and you can actually just use the font and the pages and anything you like. Like what you can do is actually select this. And if you want to change the colors, for example, you can do this. So you get that red color and now we can change it to blue or that's not very readable, purple. There we go. And we could change the background color. See what like two clicks and you've changed all the color. You can select this and you can change the font as well. So we can go to type and I used that font there. So you can change the font there. And actually, I think if you want to change the font on the habit tracker, you will need to ungroup that again. So there we go. I'm just going to ungroup that. And there we go. Now I can change the font on that as well. So there you go. You see, I've changed the font and I've changed the color on this. So you can really edit this and do whatever you like with this and create something really unique to you. And of course, you can change these images, just delete them and put fresh images in there. Now, another thing you can do, because we've made this template from this page by clicking make template, I can actually import this template again. So what I'm going to do is ungroup that. And then I'm actually going to delete the habit tracker. We'll delete the center of that. And I'm going to add some lined pages. So I can add a box here. And I can select that. And then I can just put in fill space. I can make, I'll just make them college rule pages. Now I have black lines. If I want to make those lines red, I can just select there and choose the red color and check it out. So now you can make line paper that will go with the habit tracker. So that'd be really nice. You can create multiple pages like that. And of course you can move pages around. You can select whole groups of pages. So you could easily make a 12 month tracker by creating a habit tracker for each day. And you can use the simple blank interiors here. You can edit those. Now, another thing we've done is actually added the habit trackers to tangent templates. So you can find those by going to TT images. And if you go down to the actually dated trackers, you can see we've added them in here. So you can add these in and start from scratch if you want. If it's easier to just create your own page, you can do that. And of course, you can click ungroup on these. And now look what you can do. So you can select these lines and you can make them shorter. If you want them to look like that, you can do that. You can actually delete them all together as well. So you can change up these lines. You can select all the numbers and you can use type to change the font on those. There you go. So I don't know what's a fun font. You can use the Henny Penny font and we can change the text size on those. And of course you can change the color if you want to make those blue. So you have a lot of control over these. You can make your habit trackers look however you want them to look. So you can create a really awesome book with these. And as I say, you can use this as your template. So if you want to use these habit trackers, you can just start with these and change them to look however you want. Just make a copy of it, change these to look however you want them to look, change the font, change the colors, and then you can add whatever you want in between them, whether it's lined paper, whether it's uh, financial trackers. And you can see here, I made an example here that this one is a financial tracking tracker. So it has make coffee at home, cancel subscriptions, check mail for coupons, make a packed lunch and sell an unwanted item. So those are some things you can do to save money. And I also included a little mini 30 day savings plan here. So what you can do with these is color each day that you save. And at the end of that, you'll have one hundred and fifty dollars. So if you save five dollars a day at the end of 30 days, you'll have one hundred and fifty dollars. So you can have a dual purpose page on this one. So you can see we've made some really, really cute trackers in a whole variety of styles that you can play with. There's colorable ones here, 
And I've even done a white pen on a black paper version. So this would be really fun if you had some kind of gel pens that would write on black paper or metallic pens. And uh, what else have we got? A family time planner for doing nice things with your family. And here's another financial tracker here. This, this one's black and white. So that's the free pack. As you can see, you get a whole ton of these templates and images. So there's about 25 templates that you can use in here and you can adapt these, edit them however you want. You can add your own habits to them, change the fonts, change the images up. And don't forget, we have all these cool motifs in TT images. So you can always use these to decorate your pages as well. So this is a free pack. And if you have tangent templates, you can go to my Gumroad right now and get the free pack right here, the habit and mood tracker free TT file. So to import it into tangent templates, all you're going to do is go to the tangent designer and you're going to open up interior pages. And I've designed these in 8.5 by 11 with bleed, but you will find that actually you can resize these to any size of project you want to do. So to import it, all you're going to do is go import and I have it on my desktop. So it's called habit and mood template demo. And I'm going to import it there. And you can see now it's there in my save projects. So I can open that up there and you can go ahead and edit those. As I say, my suggestion is to pick the ones that you like and then make a template out of them that you can then use in your own projects. So for example, if I like these ones here, the February is beautiful. What I might do is make a template from that one and call it beautiful habit, save that. And then I might go to the mood one and I might make a template from that one and call that beautiful mood and save that. So now I have, in fact, I'm going to save the one with a key because I like this key. And this key is cool because you would color the leaves to represent your different moods. So actually, I'm going to make one from that. I'm going to call it mood beautiful. So now I have those templates. So what I can do is actually start a new project. So this time, in fact, what I'm going to do is do a square project. So I'm going to go ahead and do 8.5 by 8.5. We'll allow bleed. And now what I can do is go to the rocket ship, go to my save pages, and I can actually bring in the habit tracker. And it's going to attempt to resize it to fit on the page. So that's actually pretty cool. And you can change this around if, if you're not happy with how it's resized. You can change it yourself. You could put a key down the side if you were doing a mood one. You have control over this. And of course, you can do ungroup. And you might need to ungroup multiple times. Actually, this one, you don't need to ungroup it multiple times. I just ungrouped it once. Now you can move the leaves around. You can change the title. You can put anything you want on here. So it really is, it's your template to change it however you want. Change the colors, change the fonts, anything you like on that. And again, to change the fonts, just select the whole thing and go to type, and then you can change your font there. So that'll change it all up for you. So it really is your template. You can resize it and change it however you like. And then what I would probably want to do with this is maybe add some lined pages. I would probably just add the template again. So probably what I would do is ungroup this and then I might keep the basic font there. So I have that. I can see what font I used. I have the background color and then I can just add in my lined paper. So again, to add lines, all you do is just add a box and then go to fill space. And here you can choose whether you want to do college rule, wide rule, graph paper or dot grid. So it's really up to you. I mean, I can make this graph paper if I wanted to. So you can go through here and quickly add whatever pages you want. I'm going to duplicate that actually to show you something. And the really cool thing now is that you can use select and copy. So if you want to create a yearly planner, you can just build one month. And then, of course, you can just take these images, page two and three, and you can decide how many times you want to duplicate those. So you could create your month here with graph paper page, maybe a planner page, and then you can duplicate it 12 times. 
and you have a planner. So you could really make a whole planner for your year just by creating one month and then duplicating it. Just remember that months have different amounts of days. So you'll need to switch out the habit tracker for each month and make sure you've got the right habit tracker. And again, we do include all the habit trackers under TT images. You can find them dated trackers. There's one for each type of month for 28 days, 29 days, 30 days and 31 days. So you can build your whole year very, very easily. So let's take a look at the other bundle that I have added to Gumroad. And this one is $20, but it is a huge bargain. It is an absolute huge bargain. And it supports us keeping working on tangent templates, keeping the price low for you guys. It is still $59 and it is a one-off payment for as long as as you like. We have had people using tangent templates. They paid $59 in 2018 and they're still using it and still loving it with all the new features that we have added to it. So if you're enjoying tangent templates, you're supporting it, think about maybe buying this habit and mood tracker images. And also, guys, this is just an amazing bargain because what I have included in here is nine packs of filler images. So you kind of get a feel for them here. This is one pack. This is the English Parks pack. We also have Glass Flowers. This is from the Glass Flowers. We have Doodles. That's from Doodles. We have the Night Garden. These images are from the Night Garden. And there are some anime pictures. And these pictures are the anime ones. Oh yeah, and the Watercolor Flowers as well. So we have zillions zillions of images in here you get a, a little feel for them and actually gumroad wouldn't let me put all of the images as previews here i ran out of preview space so you don't even see them all here but you get a feel for it so you can see these are all the flower wreaths these are the glass flowers they're all different the night garden these ones are my witchy pictures and there's also these gorgeous cities and foresty magical scapes there. And then these are just my cute anime girl pictures. So a whole variety of different images there. There's actually nine packs that you get and you get a feel for them here. And as I say, I've kind of used these as the sample images in this pack. But what you do is you go to my Gumroad and you would buy this pack. It is pretty big. I think it's like three and a half gig. It's about three point, oh yeah, 3.7 gig. So it is a big pack of images. But in fact, let's have a quick look at it. So here we are. I can actually give you a feel for what these images are. So they're all PNGs except for the doodle images, which are SVGs. So those are the anime ones. So I think there's 71 anime pictures. There's a lot. Yeah. Oh, 81. There's 81 anime pictures. There's a whole bunch of these doodles, 35 SVG doodle pictures, the dreamy cities. There's 52 of those. So there's some monochrome images. If you're making black and white pictures like these, there are some color images as well. So it's a really nice mix. The witchy ones are all black and white as well. So you've got some witchy pictures there. Um, whole bunch of different images. These are really beautiful, the, the glass flowers. And so what you do, you buy that pack and it gives you all of these folders. So when you unzip it, you have all of these folders with all the different images. And you're just going to go into tangent templates. And in fact, I can start with the basic template here. And what you'll do is go to uploads and you'll go to upload images. And then you're going to choose which pictures you want to upload. Now, I don't recommend uploading everything because that may slow down your computer. It, it, it may slow things down because it does store the images locally. But what I would suggest is picking the images that you want to use in a particular project and uploading them for that project. So, for example, if I want to do, let's say, dreamy cities. So what I might do is go through these, have a look at them, decide which ones I want to use. I can upload the whole pack. If I upload the whole pack, I can just select that and say open and it will put those in a bundle for me in tangent templates. So it takes a quick moment to upload the images. And there we go. Now I can play with them all. So I have these images. I can scroll through, find one that I like. And then I'm just going to put this in the middle of my habit tracker. 
There we go. So I can adjust this and make it a little bigger till I'm happy with the sizing. And make sure it's in the middle. I can center it using the tools there. So that is centered. And the other thing is with the mood track is you really want to make sure you add a key. So if we look at these, you can see some examples of a key. This is a very simple one. This is just boxes and lines. This one here, similarly, boxes and lines. This one I did something more fancy. So I used leaves. And instead of using boxes, I used little leaves that you could color in. And these actually just come from TT images from the leaves. And then in some, I made the key on a whole page. I made a page for the key. And then these ones I use circles. So it's very, very easy. So I was making circles. So all you do, I would suggest first draw your circle, then add a line. So what you can do is select them both and then go to arrange. And then you have all these alignment tools here. So I would recommend aligning them down. So those are actually vertically aligned so that they, they are aligned at the bottom. Actually, I think my line's a bit long there, so I'm going to make my line a bit shorter. And there we go. I'm going to select these and I'm going to make that a group. And then I'm going to copy and paste that. And I'm just going to put it roughly in place and I'm going to do three more. So I have six moods that you can have here. And what I'm going to do is actually order these. In fact, let's delete those ones. I'm just going to do these ones first. So we'll put them there. And what I'm going to do is select them all. I'm going to align them to the left. And then I'm going to do distribute space evenly. And you can see now those are nicely lined up. So I'm just going to copy that, paste that over here. And the best thing to do is actually to group both of these. So I'm just doing arrange tab and group. And then what's nice, if you have them both grouped, you can make sure they're aligned here. So we can uh, align them to the bottom. Yeah, those are aligned and we can center that. So there you go. That's how you can add a very simple key. And of course you can add your own features to this. I mean, as I say, I used leaves. So the leaves are here. If you go to leaves, there you go. So, I mean, you could use these instead of having the circles if we ungroup that. And ungroup it again. And see, I can delete that and actually put a leaf in instead. And you can also do things like if I ungroup this, you can also change the thickness on the boxes. So just change the border thickness and you can get a different style. If we look at this one, for example, you can see I've got really chunky circles. And here's something really cool as well. If you use one of these habit trackers, you can actually change the style of this. So if you want it to be have really chunky lines, you can do that by changing the thickness there and you can change the color. I mean, you can even give it a background color like that. Oh, that looks ugly. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. So it's really up to you how you make these look. They are yours to play with, to color, to enjoy. So again, two products here. What we're looking at, you're just going to go to katherine.gumroad.com. So the habit and mood tracker, completely free. If you have tangent templates, go and get this template. You can download it and you can import that. It gives you two files. It gives you the demo file, which has all my decorated designs, and it gives you the bare bones habit trackers. You also, if you're using tangent templates, you already have the bare bones trackers. We've just added those to TT images. Again, they're under dated trackers right here and the second product that we have is my big giant pack of images so the tt file the free one that gives you some free images it gives you the ones that you see they're free but if you want the whole set with all of these in it then go and get the the 450 filler images and you can use those to create all the printables and planners and uh, books that you like. The only thing we ask is that you don't resell them as clip art and that you don't resell them as templates. If you do want to make KDP templates for other Tangent Templates users, you may do that, but only using a TT file. So you can redistribute TT files. You cannot sell PDFs of our templates or images 
as templates. So you just basically can't compete against us by reselling our stuff as KDP templates. But you can absolutely make KDP templates using TT files because those are for tangent template users. So I hope that makes sense. If you have questions about that, feel free to send me a message support at tangent.rocks or just message me on Facebook. So there we go. Everything I mentioned is at katherine.gumroad.com. Also, again, I do want to say all these images I made with Midjourney and the colorable images I actually created using our own Tangent Crystal software, which is available exclusively to people who are part of our Imagine course. So if you want to learn Midjourney so that you can create images, you can create your own artwork, I do recommend checking out Imagine. It is at imagine.tangent.rocks. It is a huge course. It has over 12 hours of tutorials and interviews, all me, either teaching you or talking to experts in the industry. We have people like Jordan Colton and Sasha O'Hara in there, been super successful with their coloring books. We also have interviews with Laurie Colwell, who's a publishing expert, and also with Sarah Flocken, who's a PR expert. So we have a ton of like really great content in there, plus tutorials to make all kinds of images and to put a coloring book together. So I do recommend Imagine. It is at imagine.tangent.rock and I'm always happy to answer questions in there about mid-journey and AI art, which I absolutely love. I made all of these images myself using mid-journey and put them all together. So I do hope you enjoy them. I hope you have a lot of fun with these habit and mood trackers. I hope you can add those to your planners, to your printables and come up with some really cool things with them. I would love to see what you make if you feel like sharing. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. Have a good one, guys. Bye.